All right, this is for page 1101. Let's talk about pages three through five. This is called factoring polynomials before canceling. And uh, so it's kind of building on some of the factoring that we did in a uh, previous pace or two here. <clears throat> and then we can cancel from top to bottom. And it, we, what we should always do with these problems, and I just pulled two out of the homework to kind of give you some ideas here, is we always look to see if there's a common factor that we can take out of the entire equate the entire thing, the entire top or entire bottom. Like for instance here, I see two could come out of here and here. If this were a 12 or a 10, something like that, I could factor two out of the whole thing, okay? And that would make it a little bit easier. Because I have 11 here, I can't factor two out. But look down here, do you see a common factor that we can take out? Yep. So I'm gonna, I'm actually starting over here and then we'll come back over here, all right? So I'm gonna factor the A out, and then what are we left with? A times A would be the A squared, plus factor the A out from 6A, and what do you think goes here? Six, good. All right, now we need to factor the top. And like I said in a previous video, <clears throat> We just have to kind of do some guessing. So A, A, and we want to end up with 11 in the middle, and we want to end up with 6 here on the end. So I'm going to try 6, and I'm trying to get um, 11 in the middle. So 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. Okay, another clue that I had is I do see a plus 6 down here. Sometimes that kind of guides you to say, you know what, they're probably going to have something that cancels. So if I know this is a plus 6, my guess is that's probably going to be a plus 6, and now that helps guide me to figure out what this one should be. And 2, so using the FOIL method, remember the first outer inner last, first is 2a squared, Outer is now positive 12a, and then, I don't want two here, I want one here, <clears throat> because I want it to be negative one, so that positive 12 minus one will give me positive 11, and then negative one times positive six is negative six. Okay? So, um, you might do a little trial and error. Don't feel bad if you don't get it the first time. But play with this a little bit until you get these factors. Then notice that this cancels this. So really, our final answer is just that. All right, I don't usually give away a whole answer, but there you go. I just helped you with that one. I'm not going to finish this one. Let's just set it up. <clears throat> We're going to factor this into two parentheses. Factor this into two parentheses because I don't have any factor that will come out of every term in either the numerator or the denominator like I did here. So I can't factor anything out, but I can certainly factor it in doing reverse FOIL method. So I have y and y. Down here, y and y. That part's easy. I need to multiply two numbers together to give me 12, and when I add them, I'm going to get negative 7. Uh-huh. So I think you can figure out what goes there, 3 and 4, right? you got to figure out positive, negative. Guess what? <clears throat> Down here, same thing. 3 and 4 will give me 12, and I think I can somehow, by playing with the signs, positive and negative, get a negative 1y. And again, when you're done, one of these is going to cancel the other one. So that'll make it a little bit easier. So when you're done, you're just going to have one term, y either plus or minus something here over another term. So hopefully that kind of helps decode. You, have, you get a lot of practice here. Um, and, and then don't forget, I'm looking at number 12. Don't want that. Y, X squared minus 4Y squared. Do you remember? <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> when we have the difference of two perfect squares, we factor it by saying x, x, to the square root of this, so 2y, 2y, and then 1 is positive, 1 is negative. And that way, the middle term, when you do the FOIL method, the middle term will completely cancel out. The last term will be negative, and it'll be 4y squared. Okay, so 1 positive, 1 negative. So take that one, factor out the top now, do the you know two, two quantities. One of them is probably going to be one of these, and that'll make it easier okay, to cancel that. We'll stop there.